We would be honored if you would join us. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey, Star Wars fans and Action V Collectors, welcome to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. We're looking at one that's been sitting on, on my list for a good couple of months now. I just, just sort of itching to get to it, and I'm like, I finally want to do this one this week. I didn't do an episode last week, um, just due to a number of things, but um, it was just a busy week, and I didn't get a chance to record uh, Power of the Force Friday, so... In a way, we're kind of doing a double this week uh, with Yoda included here. Um, I do have a separate Yoda, and this one doesn't have his cane, just because I do display him in the backpack here with Luke. Um, so yeah, this is, on, is, this is one, I have a lot of memories from this one as a kid. Um, it was one I always wanted, never got as a kid. Um, and I remember when I was like seven or eight, I uh, went shopping for a friend's birthday party and um yeah i thought for some reason i thought i was getting something for me i don't know <laughs> i don't know um and i picked out the yoda and the luke little did i know i was absolutely beside myself when i find out found out we had to gift it to a friend but you know it was cool it was fine i uh you know i was just a hysterical seven-year-old it wasn't due to um, you know, being spoiled for anything and not getting what I wanted. It was, you know, I guess it was kind of a bit of that being, being six or seven. Um, <laughs> but nevertheless, I got him. I have him now. It's, uh, still one of my favorite sets. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. I like the team up and it's, uh, you know, being very prominent now, given the, the sort of the Luke and Grogu combinations that have been coming out in both scales of, um, you know, both the vintage collection in three and three quarter and the black series, uh, the Luke, Luke and Grogu combinations. But, uh, yeah, I, I dig the Luke. I like the, uh, the sort of just the training sort of look, the gigantic backpack, <laughs> which, you know, it, it's made to sort of support and house, you know, Yoda here, who, who isn't a diminutive figure. He is small, but Compared to the current sort of Grogu's, uh, yes, he is quite small, but he does fit in there quite nicely. And I don't know, I just, I just like him. On, I, I like this pair on my Power of the Force shelf. I'm just trying to remember how this sort of backpack, there we go. Just a couple of pegs through the back there. It allows a little bit of room. I wonder if he would sit in there better facing backwards. Possibly, but it's all right. He will, uh, he will uh, go in there nicely forwards. So I don't have the actual lightsaber. I had to take this one off of my New Hope Luke. Um, just for the sole purpose of the video, it's pretty much the same lightsaber. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's the same head as well as that New Hope Luke. I'm sort of just looking at it now and it's pretty much the same. If there are differences, it's very, very subtle. You can see on the back there, 1995. 1995 Kenner China. And that one just sort of slips easily over the back there. It's going to move the arm so I can pop those. Pop those plugs back into the backpack. And I thought while I was doing this one, I thought I'd compare it to a couple of more more recent versions. Um, I never got the updated one, the Vintage Collection 3 pack that came with the Vader um, from a few years back. But I do have the uh, this one that came out in the 3 and 3 quarter inch black series. I actually sort of did a repaint on the Yoda Yoda head myself back in the day. It doesn't look too bad. And the looks, eh, it's okay. You know, by today's standards, you know, it, it's pretty much been 10 years since this figure came out. I like what they tried to do with the elbows, with the double joints in order to get him to sort of grip the bag like that. But, you know, it just, it just, 
I would rather see uh, articulation sacrifice for sculpt. I think sculpt's more important. Um, whereas, you know, that's that's pretty ugly by today's standards, of course. Um, even by 10 years ago, it, was, it wasn't a great look. A lot of people were sort of put off by, by the figure because of that. And I can, I can see why. Um, unfortunately, weren't really any other sort of arms out figures that you could swap out with. Um, of course, he come with the gigantic clip on the backpack there, which is the most recent look from Book of Boba Fett. I have reviewed that one that come with Grogu using the same clip. And there are, you know, there's the arm just popping off. <laughs> Not a big deal. It's, it'll stay there. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm hoping we get a sort of a redo of Dag of a Training Luke. The Yoda's fine. He has recently been re-released as well um, on an Empire Strikes Back card. And, you know, I think I, I think I did some weathering on the uh, on the robe for this one as well. But I don't mind the sculpt of this one. I think that's quite nice. For the most part, he's just going to sit in the backpack like so on my shelf. So one day maybe we'll get a uh, better looking. Dagobah Luke. The rest of the figure I don't have no problems with. Um, it's, yeah, really just the arms and, you know, an updated head would be fantastic. So there's, there's that one. And that one was from, it's got blue tack on his feet, 2014. So yeah, nearly, yeah, nearly 10 years at this point. And uh, for the sakes of comparison, I do have the uh, Black Series one here. We've got to move it up a little bit. Yeah, Yoda there. Fantastic. Really nice Yoda. And uh, yeah, if we could get this one scaled down, you know, the backpack doesn't feel too big. It's sort of a decent size. It, does, it doesn't need to be fabric. Quite happy with it being a, a sturdy plastic like this. But yeah, if we could get this Luke scale down to three and three quarter that'll be absolutely unreal but yeah going back to where it all began i mean they did one in vintage but they was just they didn't have the the sort of training look it was just the um just the the reuse of the bespin look which is you know to a degree it's accurate because he did wear that outfit on best on dagobah but yeah, while he was training with Yoda, uh, not so much, but still a cool addition. I'm glad this one, he takes in a stage. He's definitely in, in the middle of my Power of the Force 2 shelf, because I do like it a lot. Love to hear you guys' thoughts. Please drop a comment down below. Again, I did... Just a couple of weeks ago, I did do a bit of a collection overview of my Power of the Force 2 collection. So if you scan through there, you know, just check it out. And uh, yeah, any requests, I'll put them to the list. I've got a few more on my list. Um, yeah, like I said, any requests will go to the top of the list. So I'm always looking forward to uh, seeing what people want and what people want to see next. So appreciate you all tuning in please like comment subscribe all that cool stuff and we'll see you all next week for another episode of power of the force fridays but until then we'll be some more videos happening throughout the week so thanks for watching may the force be with you always